afternoon it's uh, ideal for Zal here market analysts at cfds.com bringing you a review of the uh, european markets for wednesday's uh, end of day trading session the uh, 6th of september 2017. please be sure to visit trade signal signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com you can certainly download the app at the google play and the apple app store okay so looking at the european numbers we have the FTSE certainly bouncing off that pivot low at 7320 finishing 7355 down 18 points of so the German DAX certainly uh, rallying quite uh, uh, substantially given the uh, the pivot low that it opened up, up uh, and uh, certainly moved higher or closing up uh, 90 points uh, up to uh, 0.75 although it was higher than that at one time it actually touched 12 uh, 240 250 uh, also with regards to French CAC certainly finishing higher FTSE mid very impressive okay it's just the Spanish IBEX that was under pressure even though we had uh, some relatively weak numbers, especially with regards to German factory orders and uh, and uh, Italian retail sales and French PMI as well, okay, uh, in terms of the European markets. Now, uh, the Euro USD still remains above 1.19, so again, that's a cause for concern for European exports, and still we managed to uh, certainly move high on the back of anticipation or expectation of a Mr. Draghi show. Nevertheless, that's the status quo. Now let's look at the actual technical picture, folks. Okay, German DAX, as you can see here, holding onto that key diagonal trend line. Okay, uh, call this an expanding falling wedge. Okay, uh, certainly a possibility of a reversal now. Uh, talking about reversals, just keep an eye on this pattern. Okay, just keep an eye on this pattern. This is the pattern that really needs to be watched. Okay, so just keep an eye on it. Okay, see how this market plays out. Again, you have the right shoulder certainly obviously being carved out, looking for a potential rally. If you are looking to a rally, it's quite a substantial one. Going to the 60-minute chart, certainly give you a better feature here. Okay, so taking this, we can connect it across here. Okay, so you can clearly see left shoulder. Okay, then obviously you're looking at the head, and then you're looking at carving out the right shoulder, and obviously looking to push higher. Now, if you do push higher, you are looking at resistance into gap fill around the 12.585 level. Okay, next resistance is seen at the key 12.320 zone. Let's see if we can break that where there's previous support equals resistance. Okay, so that certainly is a status quo at present. Okay, uh, again, markets will dictate which way we go. Okay, let me just quickly just draw this key diagonal trend line in. It's been disobeyed anyway, so leave that for now. Okay, so that's basically where we stand on the 60 minute chart. Certainly a possibility of a. Um, a breakout here okay uh, i'll move higher here given the fact that you have do have higher highs and higher lows higher high uh, and again higher lows and higher high has been put in again so the bulls certainly seem to be uh, embracing the dax and in anticipation of a mr potential draggy move again that certainly is a possibility nevertheless okay uh, in terms of the us we had uh, mortgage applications stronger than expected trade balance numbers stronger and then market PMI certainly came in weaker. Also, we have Mr. Fisher certainly resigning, so I'm not sure how we can interpret that. Let's just see how U.S. markets close. Well, given the fact that he was quite a uh, hawk, and given the fact that he's gone now, one would interpret that as being dovish and therefore bullish for the stock market. The only, only two things that are left now are Yellen and um, Fish. Well, yes, yeah, so. Um, yeah, Yellen's left really, literally. I mean, uh, and again, she really was on in the dovish camp, regardless. So I'm not sure how the markets are going to interpret that. Again, like I said, open to multiple, multiple interpretations. So uh, interpret as you deem fit. And that's probably the best way of explaining. Okay, so that's basically a status quo. That's where we stand uh, in terms of the market itself. And again, awaiting Mr. Draghi. Okay, looking at the uh, French CAC now. Let's move on to the French CAC. Certainly, French CAC uh, certainly turning bullish here as well. Although it did uh, close the gap uh, and then obviously pushed even higher up to the next key resistance at 5111. After that, you're looking at resistance at 5122. I think we're already at that level after hours. Certainly already at that level after hours. We've just had news broke out with regards to Mr. Trump and uh, him certainly agreeing. House and, uh, House and Senate Democrat leaders say both sides have every intention of avoiding default in December. Trump would support three months extension of debt limit along with three month temporary spending bill and disaster aid source. So again, certainly market certainly embracing that. You can see the Nasdaq certainly pushing higher. Okay, so that's basically where we are with regards to the French CAC. Let's move on to the Euro stocks now, folks. Okay, let's see where the Euro stock stands. The key diagonal trend line was held on the 10 minute chart. 60 minute chart, you are looking at key resistance here now around the 3450 zone. Okay, uh, you, you, again, beware that you do have a potential unfilled gap below. So if Mr. Draghi disappoints, 
then we know exactly what's going to happen. Okay, so that's the status quo there. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's just quickly move on to there. We certainly hit that pivot low uh, at 7320 zone. Okay, daily chart certainly putting in a bottoming tail, certainly bouncing towards the close. Certainly some short squeeze, certainly are ensuing there. Again, we did hold or um, circum, well, basically just about. We held that FIB 75% retracement. Okay. Uh, and we'll see exactly how the FTSE responds thereafter. Now, technically, you should t uh, visit the 7400 zone, but again, the market will decide. So let's just uh, wait for that for now. In terms of the um, in terms of the smaller time frames, let's just quickly go to the 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100. Certainly impressive thrust going into gap fill at 7370, again, indicating risk aversion. So gap fill has been closed. Next level of resistance is 7395. So looking for resistance here at 7370, and the next level is seen at 7395. Oil prices and copper certainly have been very strong, so therefore that should have supported the FTSE throughout the day. And we'll see how the dollar responds as well. Okay, let's just quickly talk, talking about the dollar, let's quickly go to the dollar whilst we're here. Okay, there we are, our US dollar, here we go. Certainly finding support on the back of that Mr. Trump news, uh, agreeing to a potential three-month, uh, Trump will support three-month extension of debt limit along with three-month temporary spending bill, uh, temporary spending bill and disaster aid. So again, that certainly is helping uh, the equity markets, uh, even though Mr. Fisher's news certainly is something to be concerned about. But nevertheless, that's the status quo. Okay, so uh, I think that's where we stand in terms of the market, looking for resistance on the FTSE, uh, certainly looking for weakness on EU equities now. Okay, and then we uh, await Mr. Draghi. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.